In today's video, we're checking out Ideogram. Ideogram is brilliant. It's a bit like mid-journey for AI art creation with one big plus. It's brilliant at generating text with the right spelling on the images. Just last week, Ideogram came out with their 1.0 version. Before it was 0.2 and before that it was 0.1, but this is their new image generation model. And it's brilliant, it really is class. Here is their homepage and straight away, it's given all the latest AI generations that people on the community or people who have signed up to Ideogram has generated. And if I just scroll down, you'll see there's a lot of text and a lot of text spelt right. Let's click into this one talk to my lawyer and ideogram has generated that text on the left hand side you can see the prompt that was used for this t-shirt designs black design with text talk to my lawyer typography graffiti 3d style with elements of the court and it's it's knocked it out of the park and if you want it can do a thing called magic prompt where it takes your prompt does a bit of magic jiggery pokery and then it comes up with something a lot better or a more detailed prompt which is really, really good. Here's another brilliant design, Staying Alive, Saturday Night Fever. And again, this was the original prompt, a 70s retro t-shirt design saying Staying Alive. And again, this was used with a magic prompt and it's filled in a lot more detail. We'll scroll down and just look at some of these designs, maybe some of the designs that aren't text-based. This is a really nice illustration. We'll go down. This here is pretty cool. Looks like something from Hunger Games. All different styles. You can see we've even got the night, night logo here. Looking good. Lots of brilliant designs. You can do something brilliant like this. Come up with a new cute animal cinematic. And then again, this magic prompt's working that. And we'll maybe create some of our own. We'll just scroll down. You can see it's brilliant at cartoon illustration. And look at this. This is where Ideogram shines really, really brilliantly. Enjoy the summer season. That's that's a logo that you'd find on a t-shirt. It's, it's a t-shirt I might buy actually. And it looks really, really good. And it's made within minutes. And this is the simple prompt that we used. A summer season t-shirt design with a retro style featuring palm trees on the beach and the phrase, enjoy the summer. And you can see the model that was used. It was using model 1.0, which is the current model. You know what? I'll maybe try to recreate this. I can copy that or better yet, just click the copy button here. And then at the very top, whether we're in a design or if we go back on the home page, you can click into this. We will paste that. So it's the same prompt that it was given. And then on the on the left hand side, we're not going to use magic prompt. We'll come back to that. We'll turn it off. We will make it a square logo. And if you click into this drop down, you can actually see, and it's really nice. It gives you all the different layouts. And if you're not sure about the dimensions, it actually gives you a bit of a preview of what that size is going to be. So we're going to make it one by one, just a square image. We're going to use the newest model. I don't know why you would use the other two models. Definitely go for the newest model. C and I am on the plus description. I can go for private or public. We'll just do public and then we will generate it. And I'm not going to speed this up. This is going to be real time. And you can see the generation progress here in the top left hand corner. We're 80% already, 99%. You can half see the designs coming through. And look at that. That was within seconds. It has made these four designs into it just so it's a bit bigger. Enjoy the summer. The spelling's not quite right there. I have spelled it right, haven't I? Enjoy the summer season. So it didn't get that quite right. There's an I in the middle of summer. It's got that one right. Enjoy the summer season. And that's, that's a real nice design. Enjoy the summer season. The spelling is right. No. Enjoy, just kind of enjoy up here, the, and then here and here, we need to Photoshop these two bits out, but that's that's quite nice, that design. And after me saying how impressive the text is, it just hasn't, it hasn't worked at all in this one. Enjoy the, the summer season. If you want, you can pin it. I'm gonna pin it because I quite like that design. And then I'm gonna go up to the top here and I want the same prompt but I want this magic prompt on and you can see the, the you can see the magic of the magic prompt and we'll hit generate. And again, I'm not going to speed this up. This is all in real time. And once this is done, I'll show you some of my generations. And straight away, you can start to see it 99%. It's, I think this is looking a little better and it's because look at that. It's using this magic prompt and we'll click into it. Enjoy the summer season. That's a real 80s style to it. You can see the prompt that we used here and then down here, 
You can see it's really added to it quite a bit. Quite like that. Enjoy the summer season. That's brilliant. I'm definitely going to pin that and we'll, I'll show you where the pin artwork goes shortly. That's a really nice illustration. Enjoy the summer season. I think we're missing an R there and the N's aren't quite right. So that's not good. And that's a real nice design. Enjoy the summer season. I could see myself using that on an image. So I'll also pin that. We'll go back and you can see our latest generations are up here. Nice thing about Ideogram homepages is if we refresh it, it comes up with the newest generations. And what's really nice about this is you get some, you get some inspiration and you can click into any of these things. This see something that I quite like. And I'm drawn to this guy here, a fluffy, adorable one eye monster, ultra flat 2T t-shirt design in the style of a whimsical comic cartoons. And I'm going to actually copy the magic prompt. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to paste that in. And even though this is a magic prompt, it's going to use another magic prompt on this prompt. So we'll see what it comes up with. While it's doing that, we will scroll down to see if there's anything else of interest that I like. It's really really versatile. I am using this a lot for, well, I'll show you, I'll show you soon what I'm using this for. And currently you're going to see this guy here coming up, like and subscribe. This was made with Ideogram. And in my next video, I will show you how I made this, how I animated it, how you too can do something simple. And instead of a generic like and subscribe thing, I think this is really cool. So cool. I made another one or two and they're just going to pop up on the screen now. Look at that. Spider-Man coming from up there. Hopefully if I have edited this video and one more, I am Groot. There we are. And I'm hoping to make more. And in the next video, I will show you how I made those things. So look at that cake. That looks, that looks good. I could do with that. Lots of brilliant designs. This kind of bread, a bread bird. And we will scroll to the very top and look at this. That is brilliant. And again, it's square. And I think the first one is my favorite. So where do these pins go? We'll go back to the home page. We have got our home button up here, which is the current home page. We've got notifications. You can see that someone's liked a design of mine from two days ago and seven days ago, introducing Ideogram 1.0. And then not that long ago, I became a plus user because I was using this, I've been using this far too much over the last few days. The settings tab you can see i'm a plus user you can top up manage description sign out all the normal things and then under my profile you will see down here all the things that i have pinned you've seen i've just pinned this monster and these creations i wanted a logo called dino stories i make up stories for my youngest son most nights and it's about his teddy called Dino and it's all about Dino's adventures and I thought I would do a bit of a logo for that and here is three logos. I'm not sure which one I like. This here is also really, really nice. I wanted a, a quote, shoot for the moon and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars and just look at that typography and in a later video, I'll show you how you can make this go to another level. But that is for another video and all these things actually my daughter's called abigail easter's coming up soon and i thought that was quite nice that might make it on the happy easter card or something like that it's brilliant for presentations i have done a few ai presentations and work over the last few months and this is another one that i'm working on and i think the title of it's going to be not another ai presentation and it's, it's not perfect but it's not far off i think there's another one yep not another AI presentation and all this is a bit gobbledygook. I'll maybe replace that. I'll Photoshop that out and add my name or the date or something like that. And uh, like and subscribe. We've seen a few like and subscribe characters. You might see another one coming on screen now. And I would love to do a Stormtrooper one. That is one Stormtrooper. And I think we'll have another Stormtrooper about somewhere. Yep, there he is there. And although it's messed up the background, we can cut that out. But I quite like the way this Stormtrooper's holding that subscribe sign. I was talking about Dino Stories. Here is a, an eye-catching book cover. So look at that wee character. Look at the writing. If I wanted to design something like this in Photoshop or Affinity Photo on the iPad, it would take quite a long time Ideogram has done this in minutes and even for inspiration, it's really, really 
impressive. There's lots of different designs I've done. I'm a Back to the Future fan. I made this design up. Looks really, really good. Love this text. Again, there's a Steve Jobs quote. I have a podcast called Idiot School Running. It's a running comedy podcast. Feel free to check that out. Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all good places. And I've uh, done some designs for it that's quite funny and quite quirky. You can see everything publicly that I have made. I haven't pinned all these. There's there's some things I've pinned and some things I haven't. I haven't done anything private. That's if I've, for whatever reason, I want my creations to be private. I'll click that tab. I'll click generate. Oh, I'll click into here and I'll click private and generate it. And then here is some of the images which I have liked and I've got a bit of inspiration from. And even look at this, look at this for a motivational poster. That's brilliant. Seconds to do. Really, really impressive. We'll go back to the homepage just to see what new creations have been made. Look at that. That is amazing. Joseph from the Bible with his multicolored coat, a children's illustrated book. And that looks really, really class. There's so many uses for ideogram. Is it better in mid-journey? There'll be a video coming about what I think mid-journey compared to ideogram. I like them both. I think they're both amazing and I think the both have different uses. I will still be using mid-journey, but I am so, so impressed with this. I'm so impressed with the user interface. The fact that it can do text so well is, for me, makes it the industry leader certainly when it comes up with logo design and things like that. So check out my next video where we're going to find out how to create characters and make them animated so you can use them for your YouTube videos. It's going to be up here and if it's not up here, it's going to be coming very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.